Well, I've got a shorty on deck for you today, and I'll try not to be too long. I know I can talk a little bit, but I get very excited about films. But uh, uh, we don't just cover indie horror here. We also cover short films, and I've got one for you today that addresses a very serious issue. The film is called uh, Invisible. It was directed, written, edited, and produced uh, by Ryan Nunez. And we get the story of Riley, and Riley, as the film opens, is giving us a, conf uh, not a confession, but just a kind of uh, telling you about her life as she deals with a chronic pain issue, fibromyalgia, and how every day is a challenge and how it affects all aspects of her life. And it's through this kind of very uh, frank, raw lens that it opens up to. And then we move into a bit more of a film narrative where we see her interacting with her co-worker, uh, Jack, and we see, you know, how she's impacted by uh, this condition and, and just in general and how Jack picks up with that and gives her some advice. Uh, yeah, this film, um, I know uh, a few individuals who suffer from this, so I know uh, uh, at least through them what pain and how it affects their lives, and it's accurately portrayed here. Riley is played uh, by uh, Madison Shimalo, and I hope I pronounced that right, and she does an excellent job in conveying her feelings, her emotions. You feel that, especially the fact that it's this kind of raw interview shot that you do documentary style that just really helps add to the levity of uh, what she goes through. And you feel that, it feels genuine, it doesn't feel played up. And uh, I, I thought that was an interesting way to open the short. And then getting into that narrative, seeing her interaction with Jack. Now Jack's played by Paul uh, Kandarian, and, and I, I loved their interaction with each other uh, and the way his role was written and you know him trying to help but not being able to do much, so you kind of feel helpless. So you've got that dynamic as well. So yeah, it, it's it's meant to take as a serious piece and meant to kind of uh, open folks' eyes up to what people go through who suffer from chronic conditions like fibromyalgia. I thought it was a very effective short, very well crafted and edited performance, everything about it uh, done again in uh, this atmosphere to where it's not exactly a happy atmosphere, none of the shots and everything. Uh, but cinematography is done well with the camera work, yeah, you know, and the audio all comes through just great as well. So there's a decent production value to the film uh, as far as the technical aspects of it. So yes, I think Invisible is an effective short film that is worth a watch. It is well crafted. And it's something that is uh, addressing something that isn't always talked about more, but it should be. So thank you so much for listening. Uh, please check out our Patreon if you haven't already. The more we can do there, the more we can do here. Like, subscribe, and all that here on uh, our channel. I appreciate every single one of you. Hope you have a great new year. I know it's coming up and the holidays are coming up. So be safe, have fun, and until next time, remember, keep that ticket stuff.